Hello traders at CMC Markets. Welcome to another update from me, Trevor Neal, Research Director at Beta Group and RRG Research. I'm recording this on the evening of uh, July 25th and presenting to you from London. We are focusing on currencies in this uh, update and um, starting with the Euro. The uh, dollar is still strengthening and the euro is still falling after this big top, which we might call a sort of complex head and shoulders top when the uh, dollar bo bottomed out uh, from its extremely oversold condition. Came, the, the euro came down sharply, then paused, another sharp break, now another break. But if you look at the behaviour here, the breaks, sharp break, sharp break, break less sharp break so we've got lower lows in place but what we are seeing is higher lows in the uh, side this has been going on for several days this loss of momentum on the downside we see it also in the uh, macd below matching that so we're losing momentum on the downside but the key thing is to observe is that we're approaching the first significant support point uh, for the euro. This is at uh, 110.10. So as we approach the support at 110.10, we are in fact losing momentum. So I think that we're close to finding, coming to an end for this uh, move. We're seeing the decreasing th enthusiasm to sell and I'm looking for a bottom to develop in the next few days. Now we've got a lot of news coming out, central bank news from the, the Fed and the ECB as well this week, but the implication from the chart is that we're approaching a support point and that this weakness is coming towards an end and we may be setting ourselves up for a reversal. At the moment, the last lower high is at 110.85 and so we need to break that in order to change the direction of the trend. But watch out for this, it's not a one-way street and we're coming down to significant support and losing momentum as we approach it. And now to Sterling. Here uh, we've got what looks like a basing formation and the trend is, is uh, turning up. We have broken through some resistance levels. We're actually bouncing very well. Um, in a very uh, regular way between uh, support and resistance levels. Unusual for Sterling to be so technically well behaved. But what we've got is one, two, three, possibly four lows um, around this uh, 128.10 level. So that's a strong level of support. Um, we passed through previous um, uh, resistance level and then we've we moved up towards the high of uh, the 20 fourth and we've, part, we've broken that and then we moved up now to the high of the 21st exactly at the high of the 21st and come back and retrace to the the 128.75 high which then became, has become support and now we're moving up and testing the resistance at 129 let's call it just a little bit above 129 uh, 129.10 let's say for safety the MACD line is moving up, is oscillating higher. Currently it's uh, crossing downwards or close to crossing downwards on this pause action here, but it can easily uh, turn back up again. The uh, RSI has also got a series of higher lows, even through these four bottoms that we've got in here, we had higher lows through there. So that was a bullish formation for it. We've got a lower high at the moment, indicating we will hesitate a little bit longer around this 129.305 level before it quite possibly will break out. Then that will become support. The next resistance is right up at uh, uh, 129.95 and that's from a uh, long time ago, weeks ago, in, in fact, that resistance level. And there isn't much resistance between here and there. So potentially we could break this high and then could surge, be well supported by that high there, continue the pattern of rising lows and the trend continuing. If we, of course, do see uh, a weaker dollar, but this is looking like um, it wants to break to the upside. 
As I continue recording this now at the beginning of the, uh, the day on the 26th, as the trading gets going here in the yen, where uh, the dollar is breaking down, having uh, these four support levels here at uh, 140.80, it's been broken, and now it looks like we're heading to the next support level, um, which is at 140.50. Uh, in the big picture, this does look like uh, uh, this message that we, we saw earlier in the uh, pound and the euro, uh, the, 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 the dollar is changing direction, is ch changing from up to down. So we have these lower highs in place here, breaking these horizontal uh, levels and looking like a changing overall direction. We see this very weak reading in the RSI coming down here, pointing very determinedly lower on that breakdown. And we also see the drifting MACD. It's uh, edging lower and just crossed down again through through the signal line, but edging lower. Yeah. So a weak reading here, looking like coming down to test this support, but the, and the next support after that would be here. Now finally, we're going to look at the British pound, Japanese yen, pound yen. As the market gets going this morning, the we've had a. a a real drop in the pound versus the yen, tackling this uptrend line here, which has existed since the 20th, one, two, three points on it, now being broken as I speak. We had a series of lower highs up here. So the break level was 181.40, and that now looks as though it's gone finally. The MACD is crossing downwards, and uh, the RSI plunging here down to low reading here. So where do we get support? The first level of support is here at 181.15, and then the next level of support is at 180.75. As I write, it's <laughs> it just uh, jumped back inside the triangle uh, again, so it hasn't uh, um, held the breakout, and so it's not a breakout uh, yet, but that may be just uh, delayed. Um, we're testing the uh, line and the support remains, of course, the same uh, as it was, and, and it's quite threatening a picture for the pound going down versus the Japanese yen. I thank you all very much indeed for um, uh, listening this time. I hope you find it useful. Uh, uh, it's goodbye for me, Trevor Neal, uh, Director of Research at Beta Group and also at Relative Rotation Graphs Research, BV, and uh, may the trend be with you. Goodbye.